go through the gate to our change room. 3.30, the doors are open, and we're showtime at 3.40, okay? Three, two, one, jump! Well done, awesome. So we've got players from all the community football clubs who play in the integrated competition, and they have been chosen to select their club in a, a curtain raiser game prior to West Coast Eagles versus Essendon. The premise is that they all have an intellectual disability, and it was an opportunity for us to showcase their skill set um, playing the football and the game that they love so much out here in Optus Oval. Wasn't complete before you, cause you are, you are. All right, boys, all right. All right. One, One, two, two three, three, three. Rock. We believe the, the game of football um, and being part of a, a community team for people with disabilities is extremely important and it builds well-being, self-esteem and leadership skills and gives a level of positivity. So this is the second year we've done the Inclusion Football Academy. Uh, the opportunity for people to uh, participate in football and be a member of their community clubs and then go through a pathway through the Inclusion Football Academy. Then we'll roll into season 2022 of the Inclusion Football Academy. From there, we'll choose a squad of 16 that will travel to the AFL Inclusion Carnival to represent Western Australia. the players, you know, saw Tim Kelly out there, Willie Rioli came and watched the game, it was unreal to see. Callum Jamison, the big ruckman who now plays for West Coast from North Beach. Uh, the players are just so appreciative and they love the moment, but their football school's shone on the big stage and Friday Night Footy, there's no bigger stage than that one. The sun.